If you love to decorate with beautiful objects, here's an anthro-inspired paper mache vase that will instantly elevate your space. With the Lean's Tacky Glue and a little DIY magic, you can get the look you love for less. Here's what you'll need. A Lean's Tacky Glue, white tulip fabric paint, a 9-inch pot, joint compound, an all-purpose flower, 20 sheets of white tissue paper size 14 by 20 inches, protective gloves, 3 8 of an inch sisal rope. You'll also need a plastic knife, paintbrush, two plastic bowls, small mixer, short ruler, black marker, and a large spoon. You'll also need a hot glue gun, measuring cups, plastic plate, tape, sifter, scissors, and clean wrap. To make pulp for the paper mache, tear 20 sheets of 14 by 20 inch tissue paper into small pieces and immerse them in a bowl of hot water. Let the tissue paper soak in the hot water until it has turned into pulp. Sift the pulp out of the water and squeeze out most of the water by hand until you have one and a quarter cups of pulp. To make the paper mache, grab a mixing bowl and combine the one and a quarter cups of pulp, one cup of flour, three quarter cups of Aline's Tacky Glue, and one cup of joint compound. Combine with a large spoon, then thoroughly mix with an electric mixer until the paper mache is nice and smooth. The mixture should resemble thick cake icing. Add small amounts of water if it is too thick. Reserve half of the paper mache and store it in an airtight container and set it aside. Add another cup of flour to the remaining paper mache and mix thoroughly to make clay. Form the clay into a ball and cover it with plastic wrap. Mark three equally spaced lines on the pot using a ruler and permanent marker. Cut sisal rope to the sizes of the lines, applying tape before cutting to prevent fraying. Then hot glue the sisal rope along the marked lines. Now you're ready to make one inch clay balls to glue onto the sisal rope. Form the clay balls by rolling them in your hand. Apply Aline's Tacky Glue to the rope, then press the clay balls around the rope about one inch apart. done, let the pot dry for at least an hour before the next step. The next step is to spread the paper mache mixture over the entire pot with a disposable knife, being careful to fill in any gaps to unify all of the elements. Be sure to apply three to four inches of paper mache to the inside rim of the pot as well. Let the pot dry for 24 hours. For the last step, brush tulip fabric paint lightly over the entire pot to complete. To Aline's tacky glue and a little anthro inspiration, you've created a quietly elegant pot that looks almost identical to the real deal. Mm -hmm.